Hello, hello, this is Strategic Change Guide Podcast and it's Motivational Monday by Jim and Lucy. You've probably noticed already that we don't do premium episodes past weeks and you've noticed refund if you've been the paid subscriber for March and April. You had 100% refund and uh, also you still can use your free coaching hour if you didn't do it yet. You can keep this hour for April and we will return to the premium episodes around June or July. We will announce it additionally. So right now what we do, we do have a patron program. You can join it and we have set up the targets by which we got to start additional, uh, additional series for Fridays, like summers of our weeks, additional motivation. And this will go as once we reach Southern Patrons. And you can see our goals and you can join for one to five dollars per month and support our podcast this way. This in certain times we decided that premium subscription is not an option. That's why you've been refunded. And that's why we will deliver more content free for right for now. And We'll see how it goes later, but still you're always welcome to book your coaching hour. So today we are talking about a very interesting subject, and Jim been talking about it for the past 30 minutes, convincing me that this is the subject for today, and I'm 100% convinced because it's really deep. Well, Lucy is an eternal optimist. I like to think that I am, but she always find the beauty in the bigger picture. We were just com- commenting earlier before we went live here about the uh, people preparing for the Olympics that won't attend this year. And for a number of reasons, either it's uh, financial or their body has changed or injuries, a number of reasons they may not be able to compete in the next uh, Olympics whenever it occurs. And then we think about those who are attending college. Well, many of them for the first time won't be entering a college that we might have had or college maybe 12 months ago or two years ago. Everything is going to be changed. But the one thing we can be certain, and we've heard this before, is that change is a constant. It's always going to be there. Some of it we can prepare better than others, uh, but we recognize that is going to be there. This is a few times in any of our lifetimes, most of us, that we have a taste of something that's so unprecedented that is impacting literally the entire world almost simultaneously. And so what what are we going to do about it? We can't put our head in the sands. We can't stay locked up forever. We can't use this as a reason to say, I told you so, or I should have done this, or somebody else should be doing this, or waiting for anyone to come to our rescue. We can't do that. That's not... Life just isn't designed that way. It, it doesn't matter what happens to us. We just have to wake up and say that I am going to be my own savior and make this happen. So just imagine right now, what's going to happen for us this summer? We don't know, but we can make some plans. We don't know, but we can eat better right now. We can, we can say that right now, no matter if I can't, if I'm, I'm a public speaker and I, my livelihood for my family depends upon my speaking and going to conferences at all, well, you're going to have to find a way to get around that. And how can you get around it? Well, you can start doing your speaking online. You can sell your speaking online. You can do all kinds of things. The hard truth is that no one knows when we'll be able to get back to work, school, or life. And harder still is that even when officials declare this crisis is over, the life we get back to is not going to be the life we left. Everything is going to change, and that's going to create new products, new new everything. And that's the beauty of it. So we don't have to sing that song that we like to sing all Lang Zang, that depressing song we sing for some reason on New Year's Eve as if we feel guilty about uh, sad about what we left in the past. We can feel good about what we're going to approach because it's going to create a new us, a new you, a new beginning. And this is wonderful because rather than we can say right now that this is a new beginning right now for every one of us. So we're all facing 
a future that is marred with uncertainty, whether we like it or not. And of course, no one enjoys uncertainty, even at the best of times. But you can make recognize that uncertainty is always going to be there. And that it has some great uplifting, great opportunities for all of us. There is always an opportunity. And recently I started thinking that it is true and I got a couple of comments like, why are you still saying that change is always good? I will always keep saying that change is always good. I'm not saying the situation we are having right now is perfect where people get sick and die and this pandemic is so scary for many that without even any family member getting sick, people just get so stressed and depressed because of it. Because the classical way of living we used to know for all our lives is changing right now. But there were pandemics before, there will be pandemics after, and we need to learn and we need to make ourselves to go through any situation and any circumstances positively. I'm not saying we need to say it's everything perfect, dance and jump happily. But we shouldn't sit and get depressed and do nothing just because everything is so bad. That's not a way also. So, and I don't believe there is a middle between these two, actually, these two states. It's just being an adult and being positive in a way to make any situation work. Not your situation, but make it work. There were people who been able to use bad situation and make money out of it, for example, the crisis of 2008, right? Or 9-11s where people seen this coming and seen an opportunity and used it in investment, for example, and they made money. And there were always, always will be people who made money out of situation. I'm not talking about making something out of situation. I'm talking about going through any situation positively and finding the ways not just cope but finding to the ways to make life work for you you're not able to travel right now so go and do something else i don't know watch travel videos if that's what motivates you what what we did past saturday actually we took our first ever tango class and it was 100% online, this new section on Airbnb that called online experience where you can easily from your laptop or your phone travel to some farm, look at uh, some animals and uh, just uh, learn something new, how to draw something, how to dance, how to cook pasta or whatever it is. There are many options and there are many options of how you can reorganize reorganize your life and work right now. There are. There are many of them. And Lucy alluded to something that's, that's interesting. She said about pandemics. Now, this is a once-in-a-lifetime, once-in-several-generation event. But now, who knows what the future is going to bring us. And what I mean by this is that we can't plan for summer vacations, but we can plan. Now, it doesn't mean we can't make these three or four, five year, six year, ten year projections as we have been before. Life was already moving too fast. And as when it comes to a job, we always had tenuous job situations. And for some people, that is a pandemic. Not having a job, being laid off at Christmas time, being laid off before vacation, getting sick. We're always getting sick. Things are happening. So what we can do right now is put a smile on our face and we decide that, hey, I'm going to get up. I'm going to do my exercise, do my yoga. I'm going to eat well. I am going to project the very best. I'm going to build the relationships at home and I'm going to go online and I'm going to apply for new jobs. I am going to make myself worthy because nothing, the company doesn't owe us anything. There's not going to be there. They're going to find ways to make life do with less people. So careers that we have right now, if they're there we, uh, come, come September, wonderful. But they not, may not be there come September 30th. So we have to plan on all of that right now. Is if it's me, I, you are responsible for you. We'd be more than happy to help you with some 
thoughts, with some practices, with some coaching, with some tools that we have generated over the years. But right now, I want you to recognize, embody courage. Recognize that uncertainty is not going the way. When they come along and they say that, right, that your the stores, the cities, and everything is going to be opening up, how will they open up? And what does that mean for you? None of it will be like it was before. Right. There is always something happening. And it's, life is not just something completely different from your favorite book or your favorite movie. Uh, because you like certain types of movies and books and probably read and watched some movies and read some books that are about war or about pandemics or about someone's getting sick or this and that. And it does happen in real life. In my lifetime, I've seen war going in my country. I know people who've been in war zone. And uh, now we're going through a pandemic. And there is always something else happens. Your relatives getting sick. Your loved ones getting sick. You going in and out of relationship. The marriage can end. The new marriage will start. You have given birth to new kids. The things are happening, and not just the bad ones. That's right. Relationships in, people get laid off, people get fired, companies go bankrupt. There's nothing where it says that any of it has to exist forever. But what can is your attitude. Exactly. And not just your attitude, but your ability to act no matter what. So adapt, change, and act today. And once again, check our Patreon program. Right now, if you're on Podbean or iTunes, uh, if you're on iTunes, go to Podbean and check out the options for the Patreon from $1 to $5 a month, and we will be delivering more content 100% free. That's exactly right. So you take care of yourself, and we're here to help you. Give us a phone call. We're at 720-923-1644. Or contact Lucy at woodscovalovergroup.com. We're going to make some arrangements to work with you and find a program that fits your budget, whatever it is. Stay safe. Bye-bye.